Good evening. There are now just 16 days to go before the UK makes a momentous decision to stay in or to leave the European Union. David Cameron called this referendum as Prime Minister and wants us to remain. Nigel Farage, the leader of the UK Independence Party, has spent his political life campaigning to get out. Over the course of the next hour, both men are going to be quizzed by our studio audience. First up this evening is Nigel Farage. Welcome, Mr Farage. Thank you. Stay uh, with questions on the economy and go to a gentleman not far away. Aaron Barzi has a question for Mr Farage. Hello. I work in the pharmaceutical industry with multinationals who are worth billions to our economy. They're here because we're in the EU. Do you think our independence is going to risk thousands of jobs and billions of annual income to our economy? Well, I don't buy the fact that a pharmaceutical company is in Britain because we're in the EU. They're in Britain because they want to be in Britain. I'm going to interrupt you there. And there are lots Some of reasons for doing that. Some operations can only be done in the EU. I can't do my job in Switzerland, so I can't review some EU products and live in Switzerland. You have to be in the EU. And that's why they have EU headquarters in the UK, yeah. which makes it worth 32.4 billion a say, year. I have to say that I'm not wholly happy uh, with the way that much of the pharmaceutical industry has behaved. Uh, in particular, uh, I see their lobbying in Brussels, which is absolutely massive. Uh, and I see the way they've been very good at putting out of business people producing alternative medicines. So not everything your well, industry has done has been good. Um, the but they but, look, but look, I've heard these arguments about car manufacturers. Space. I've heard these arguments about car manufacturers. I hear all these arguments that people are only here because we're in the okay. EU. Well, do you know what? We have in this country, actually, rather a big domestic market. And just to give you a sense of perspective, right, only 12% of the entire British economy, 12%, is exports to the European Mr. Union. Farage, the other 88%. Well, the question is specifically the question about pharmaceuticals. Is about, and also yeah. about jobs too. 32.4 billion 2004 report from the government. Yeah. Right, so get that round your head. 32.4 billion. Now, the European Medicines Agency is in London. It's all the medicines, all the groundbreaking ones for the whole of Europe are reviewed in London. And Brussels listens to us. You can't do no. that if you're not part of Europe. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> This is, this is, this is, this is entirely and utterly false. Full stop. Whether you're based in London, you know, I mean, for example, our biggest industry isn't pharmaceuticals. Our biggest industry by a mile is, of course, financial services of all kinds. You know, from stocks and shares to pensions to hedge funds, you name it. It's our biggest industry. It brings our biggest revenues. And all of that has been transferred to agencies that are Thank scattered you. around the rest okay, of we've, Europe. We've had plenty on uh, Mr Vazes. Uh, question, thank you very much. We're going to...